This is a Mac 2 VX test. Uh, gonna start it up and see what I can uh, get out of it. Just got done cleaning it. Board is nice and squeaky clean. And I am taking this video with my Lumia uh, 520. Hopefully uh, we get to see. Mm. It's trying to for the for zoom, but I'm not really so sure about it. Anyway. Yeah, it's trying to. There it goes. Cool. So it does zoom. Got a 230 meg hard drive. Got a... I don't know who made that. Dana? It's a Dana Newbus uh, Ethernet card. Uh, there's no CD drive. This is exactly how I got it, except everything is now pretty much cleaned. Uh, power supply still needs to be opened up and a run-through done. But aside from that, plastics and stuff, I'm going to have to retrobrite something. Well, at least the top cover. And the metal painted pieces are going to need a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and some other stuff. Like, I think uh, Simple Green was recommended to me to try in lieu of retrobrite for some things. So we'll give that a shot later on. Um, I do know that the board is going to need a recap. Possibly, but and if I get a chime, and if the hard drive starts doing stuff after that, then I guess it works. If not, well, whatever. It is not hooked up to any sort of a video source. This is just as it was. So, let's go. Three, two, one, smoke test. Got nothing. Press it hard enough. Ooh, that's a good sign. That's a very healthy sounding 230 meg hard drive. Oh, shit. And then it just restarted itself. I guess we're on the desktop now. Maybe it's still loading. Are we ever going to be done? Does the hard drive clattering ever end?
We got a beep. Probably to tell me that I don't have a friggin' Piran battery installed. Why? Because I'm a cheap fuck and, well, that's me. Um, I haven't gone to Radio Shack, which is all they're good for anymore, to go and get one. So, I'd call that a very, very successful boot. Once the hard drive stops clattering away, I'll shut it down and we'll see what it's got on it. I'm going to guess that it's been upgraded to 7.6. It's almost done. I'm hoping 7.6 or at least 7.5.5 and not just like 7.1 what it came with. This did have an Apple CD 600E hook up to it, so I'm going to hook that up to it as well and see what becomes of that. Because honestly, it's better off using the external CD than it is to get rid of the faceplate that is there where the CD drive would have been had one been included internally. It also puts less wear on the power supply because you're using the power supply that came with the CD drive. So, again, successful test. Thank you for sticking around for 6 minutes and 20 seconds. Well, now it's 6 minutes, 20 seconds, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, thanks a bunch for sticking around. Leave a comment if you got a comment. And, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to now get this recap because now that I have it to a certain point, it's definitely going to need a recap uh, because those capacitors are old and they've leaked out a lot of goo. And sure, some things probably aren't working right now anymore, but I definitely got to get it uh, fixed. So until next, oh, what the, f oh, there's coupons on the floor because one of the cats knocked a pile of coupons that were on the table onto the floor. And it has made its way next to the cat box. Gee, I wonder which cat it was. In fact, the cat who it was is standing right in front of me. He's sitting right in front of me on the table. He's looking at me with sad blue eyes. And I'm not going to show it on video. Because he does not deserve the camera spotlight tonight. Well, today it's still like 4 o'clock. So, that said, oh. thank you for sticking around. Turn you off.